Uh, I don't have time for a whole lighting lesson right now, but I'm gonna tell you the four ways you can control any old light that you find, okay? And a good way to practice is just get yourself, get yourself any old light that you can, all right? This is just a little video light, okay? Little box light LED sort of a thing, okay? You can get, get them online, $50, $100, something like that. Get one of them. Now there's four ways you can control this to uh, affect how the light put looks on the person. First is obviously, the brightness of the light, okay? If I take, for example, this, okay? How bright the light is, if I just adjust this, okay? Can determine whether, of course, your photo looks moody and dark or bright and happy, okay? Brightness, okay, that's the first one. Second way to control your light is the color of it. Now, of course, not every light can change its color, but you buy the little fancy ones today and they have different modes. If I can just find out how to change the mode on this one. Where is the mode on this one? Ah, okay. So like the color of the light can affect the message of your photo. All right. So depending on what color this is, it can affect how people perceive me, you know? You get that? So color alone, bright brightness alone can affect the overall message of your photo. Okay. Um, thirdly, most importantly, actually, is the direction of the light, okay? It don't matter how good your light is if you do not know what direction to point it at the person to get them looking cool, it's all for nothing, okay? So there's, there's, a, there's 360 degrees of direction to play with with your lights to get cool effects, okay? And of course, I don't have time for a whole lighting lesson, but you take these things that I'm teaching you here and you just practice them yourself and you'll be amazed at what you can learn without reading a single textbook. And fourthly, the quality of the light. The quality of the light. And by that, I mean whether a light is hard or soft. The only difference between the two is hard lights create very definite defined shadows on people, such as on a clear sunlit day. And soft light is like what you see on my face right now. I have a big light here in what's called a soft box, which converts this little hard light, which is like literally I have one of these behind the soft box, but notice how it looks nothing like this one because it's in a soft box and it converts it to soft light, which looks a lot more appealing, especially for portraits. Uh, portraits. So they're the four things, the brightness, the color, the angle, and whether it's hard or soft. That's the basics that apply to everything you will ever hear about lighting, okay? And you notice that I don't talk about lighting brands, this one, because it doesn't matter. What matters is you knowing these four things about how to use any old light. Then if you want to spend a bit more money, yeah, you can get, you can get something that can go brighter, they can have different effects to it maybe, this sort of a thing, okay? But it's not about what equipment you have, it's about knowing how to use it correctly. And you can get away with ridiculously cheap uh, equipment like I did for years and uh, you can't tell the difference because you know how to use it properly. 